We're gonna talk about our watercolors today we're gonna to be using. We're going to make sure that each color is wet, so you put a little bit of water in each of them. We're gonna be using our warm colors, our fall colors, so red, orange, yellow. We'll use a tiny bit of green for the grass that might still be sticking around, and some brown. So we're gonna to try to avoid purple and blue today because those remind us more of springtime and, and summer. We're gonna go with our fall colors. And so we're gonna start in the background, up in the sky. We're gonna try not to paint our white trees. We want those birch trees to stay white. So we're gonna do our best to stay on in between them. And we're just gonna take what our paintbrush, put a tiny bit of paint, pick one color to start with. I'm gonna start with some red and just kind of make some like fall lights fall background, some little paint brushes, little dabs of color. When I go to rinse my brush, I just wanna tap it in the water, swipe it off, add another little color, little hints of sunshine and fall leaves that could be falling, that beautiful fall sky. They can, the colors can combine a little bit when they touch each other. The more paint you have on your brush, the brighter the color is gonna be. The more water is when it becomes a little bit lighter. So you could have some that kind of fill in a little bit more. You could have a hint, more color in that background for that fall sky. And then you can add some more leaves and little dabs of that shimmering fall light like we saw in Gustav Klimt's landscape. And if you wanna have more of a rosy glow, a warm glow to your sky, you definitely can. If you wanna add a little brown leaves in there. Remember, trying to do short little dabs of color to fill up our fall landscape today. I can go back and add a little red. You don't want one color to take over. You just wanna stick with those little light colors. Make it feel like a cozy fall day. Like the leaves are ready to just fall off that tree. I'm going to leave it more white towards the bottom because it shows like the sunshine um, in our sky as the sun's starting to set a little bit. So whenever you feel like you've got all your fall leaves in there, you're good. Okay, I think my sky is done. Now I have a couple choices for my for my ground. I could still have some green in there if I want to have some green grass showing. I can have like the browns and the and the oranges and reds as well. So I think I'm going to start with a little hint of yellow and kind of like follow this kind of lazy hill I kind of have for the grass. And maybe I'm going to use a little bit more water this time to spread out my color. This makes almost like a wash. Um, Again, the more water you have, the lighter the color it is. It also lets me blend. So if I wanna add a little green in there, when they meet, I can make a light a light yellow green there. That looks very pretty, very fall-like. Um, I can add a little brown, a little hint of brown, a little shadow at the top of the hill if I want. It can go into my grass. However you wanna add, maybe, maybe I want a little like orange leaf pile down here. Swirl those colors for your fall landscape. This will be for our back, our middle ground and our foreground. And remember, we're gonna add our big mushrooms out of paper and glue those on top. And then maybe just a hint of some red down at the bottom. And then the more water I have, it will spread around. Don't wanna soak my paper too much, and then my paper will rip, so. Just a gentle amount, okay? So I think I'm done. I'm gonna wait to paint in those little mushrooms until this background, the grass part, is dry where that middle ground is because I don't want my red of my mushrooms to blend out into my, my grass. So I'm gonna go put this on the drying rack and then next we will add, start working on our bigger mushrooms.